Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. So I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel and then liking and watching my videos a lot. So I appreciate it. So and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Canadian smoking and puff and sleeve. And all, let me say Canadian uh, smoking and balloon sleeve, puff sleeve. So someone actually dropped uh, this request on Facebook and I noticed that the, the post actually got lots of engagement. So that is why I decided to do the tutorial. So sometimes um, when and the post um, uh, drop request for me on Facebook, so it depends on the lot, the engagement that I get. If the post has a lot of like and then comments, I will know that you guys are actually interested in seeing that tutorial so that will make me that would like and ginger me if i would use that word to make the tutorial so this and post actually got a lot of engagement so that is why i decided to do it and it is really simple and the sleeve is really beautiful so if you are new to my channel you are highly and very 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 welcome if you have not subscribed already I would appreciate if you would do that and subscribe to my channel and then hit on the bell just to get an update Whenever I upload a new um, video. So let's just get straight to this tutorial. Like I said, it is really simple and easy. It's just kind of fun. Uh, you just have to bring your hands to do a lot of manipulations here. So I have my basic and uh, sleeve and um, pattern. So I'm going to be using this arm. Um, so you see my balloon sleeve. It is easier to cut out. You are just going to cut out your basic sleeve, but a puff sleeve is going to be bigger. So I already have a puff sleeve. If, um smoke like kind of smoke normal and smoke and puff sleeve on my channel so i'm going to drop the link down on the description box so with that when you watch that you know how to cut out um your round um balloon sleeve already so with that it will be easier so for uh, the measurement that i'm going to be using for this so the width of the sleeve that i have is actually 28 inches and then the down part is 26 inches and then the length of what I have here is 22 inches. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to be leaving half an inch all around the sleeve. So that was use that is what I'm going to use as my uh, stitching allowance on this sleeve. So I'm just going to turn it to this side, and then we're going to just go straight and start marking. It's really simple. So I already have some lines here, which I'm still going to just uh, continue with. So I'm just going to start uh, marking. So I'm going to, so before I start, I'm going to leave about a one inch on this side like this. So I'm just going to mark one inch down. And then from this one inch point, I'm going to mark two, two inch. So I'm just going to divide the whole of the sleeve into two, two inch uh, intervals. So I'll mark it like this. I'm going to roll the lines down straight, but I'm just marking them first. Okay, so I'm just going to mark, I'm just going to roll it and straight down like this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now, after marking it this way, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a line for the top part. So if, if you notice and this uh, kind of smoking that was done on this, you find that that the top part has a long and uh, straps, while the down part that's from the middle part has a um, rough fold or was ruffled and round like this. So I'm just going to uh, mark out um, the parts that I'm going to use the straight and uh, straps for. So I'm just going to place uh, my, my tape like this. So I'm going to mark 11 inches here so on this 11 inches i'm going to pull it out straight with the long and straight ruler so this is just like almost the center but it, the top part is longer than the the down part so I'll, I'll mark 11 inches like this okay so after marking this 11 inches now here is what i'm going to do now so i have another line here so this um, part that i joined i'm just going to use it also so I'm going to mark, and from this point also, I'm just still going to mark out um, about, so I'll use this line, which is 5 inches. So I'll mark 5 inches from here, like this. So these are the parts where I'm going to be ruffled. So I'm going to, I'm just going to start now. So you see these parts now, this top part, 
I'm going to be raw. I'm going to start from this line. I'm going to ruffle from this point to this point. So this is how I'm just going to ruffle them together. But the top part, I'm not going to be touching them. So you should just and watch and see what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be making use of a needle and a thread just to make it easier for you. So I'm going to take this point like this. This point like this. I'm just going to, to hold it like this together. And then I'm going to bring this point. So I'm going to take this point like this. And then take this point. So you see what I did? I brought my needle to this other side. So I'm going to use it to pull them together. So you see, you see what I'm doing? So I use it to pull both of them together. That's from this line to this line, like this. So from this line also, I'm going to pull this one together, like this. So I'm just following it on this line. So I'm picking this one also from this line. And then I'm pulling it like this again together. So you see what I'm doing. So you see, I'm pulling this one also together. And then I'm stitching it to this point, like this. So I'm taking this again like this, I'm pulling this on this same line. So I'm just going to, since I've pulled it together to this point, I'm just going to to clip it to this point again and then I'll pull so I'll take it again and then pick again from this point so you see how the back how it is looking so you see the lines so as we are going from the top part so I'm going to pull this one again together with this so you see both of them like this so you just hold them like this and then you stitch these two together once you pull them together you stitch them two by two together so and then i'm going to take this one and then you stitch And the first part so I'm going to cut it out I'm cutting out the thread now and then I'm going to do the middle part so I just want you to see and understand what I'm doing so this is the, the center and parts now so we're done with the first part so you see the layer so you see the lines the lines are already here so when, when you're connecting by the time you pleat and this part so you see the long and straight lines for the top part so the next ones we're going to do now the 
pinched ones on the down part. That's the pinched um, uh, smoking. So you remember it, it is already divided into the box and part. So I'm going to show you how to rough fold and this part now. So I'm just going to come now from this point like this. I'm going to come to this point like this. So when you come to this point now, so you are going to take also. So you can decide to skip on this um, part. So I'm skipping this first line. I'll come to this second line. I'm just going to hold it like this now. So you see what I'm doing. It is different from what I did with this one. You hold it together like this. So this is just like the, the regular um, pinch smoked. So you're just going to hold it together like this. And then you, 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 you join it together. So after holding, this is the first um, point. So I hope my camera is getting it properly. So this is the first point and then this is the second line. So from this first line now, because the lines are there, from this first line, you're going to come to the second line. You, are, you hold it however you want to hold it. But all I know is just you are just going to like pinch it. And then this, the thread is still there. And then you, you, you hit on this spot like this and then you pull them together. You pull them together like this. And then you come to the third line also you pinch you like pinch them together just like um create pinches on this like this and then from this point also you pull you pull them together so you are going to do that until you get onto the and if you don't want them to be too close you can decide to skip and one one line out of it you can decide to skip one line so this is the other one So I'm going to come to this fourth line now also. So the lines are already there. So I'm just following the same lines. But they are smoked in different ways. So the way I smoked this and then this one. So this one, um, I'm just pinching them like this. So I'm trying to hold, hold it together like this. So from this point, I'm just going to take the thread. I'm not cutting it out. I'm pulling them. That is why you need at least one yard of fabric if you want to do this and you want it to come out very well. If you are using satin, use like one yard and it will make it, it will be fine to be full and fine. So you come here also and then you pinch that part together and then you, I'm just pulling them together. So I'm just going to continue. So I'm just going to cut outside this now and then cut this off. So I just want you to see. So you see what I have. You see, it's looking like what we have on the picture. So the next thing I'm going to do, the last one that is down here. So this, I'm just going to um, do the same and tiny and um, pinches on this and um, down part also, just like I did uh, to this uh, second uh, row. So these ones are pinched uh, randomly also. So for this, I'm going to cut them out. I'll cut this out and then I'll pick another one at random. So I'm not, um, if you notice, I'm not bringing this third line i'm not bringing them together so i'll just pick so i'm skipping this uh, second roll i'm picking this one and then random and I'm, I'm pinching it like this so these are cut out So this kind of Canadian smoking is smoked in different ways. It is not one straight pattern. So that is why this sleeve is looking like that. So I'll skip this one now and then come to this part also and then I'll pinch it also. So I'm just going to do it till I get to the end 
and then I'll show you, then we'll join our sleeves together. So for this uh, sleeve, you can decide to do, you, the down part, you can decide to add elastic to it if you want to, or you can just decide to, so you see what we have. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to take it to the machine and then join. So because of and this pleats that we already have here, so when we, we are joining, when you pleat and this top part, as you are, as you are um, joining your sleeve, when you pleat and this top part, so you see the top part is, is the lines are there, and then this down, you have the ruffles, and then this down. So I'm just going to uh, take it now to my machine to join it together. So and then I'll pleat this top part, and then this and um, down part also, I'm going to just pleat it, but you can add elastic to it. So, um, for the down part of my sleeve, so I'm just going to um, join it before um, before I join it. So, this and um, top part now. So, when you are connecting it to your sleeve, because it is a balloon sleeve, obviously, you are going to have to pleat this part. So, I'm just going to pleat it now as I walk along. So, in pleating it, you are going to follow the pleats that are already here to pleat it. So, you are just going to follow them to pleat it. So the plates are already here, so you are just going to take them like a one at a time. So you split to fit into your armful uh, measurement. So if you feel that this part is too long, you can decide to start your, your, your pleats and that's your ruffles. You can decide to start it from wherever you want to. So it's your, uh, it's the thing of your, it's your, it's your choice. Rather, let me say it that way. So I didn't want to change uh, the thread on my machine. So this, since this is just like a rough uh, illustration. So the next thing you are going to do now, so this down part also now, I'm going to pleat it because if you are using elastic, the elastic is going to pull it together. So I'm just going to like um, pleat it to my round and uh, armhole uh, measurement. So I'm going to fold the down of the sleeve. I'm going to trim it and then fold it. So the next thing now, you are going to join the side of your sleeve together. So you see this side, how beautiful it is looking already. So you are just going to, to fold, you are just going to join this part of your sleeve together like this. Okay guys, so you could see, so this is our uh, Canadian and smoked and puff sleeve. So at the end, so you could see, so like I said, if you um, what I have here is a little bit smaller than my size. Like I said, you, you make use of if you want it to be big and puffy, you make use of about one yard for one sleeve, and then you make use of uh, fabric like satin or raw silk. So that will give it um, that um, much and uh, fullness and volume. So you could see at the end of the day, we actually achieved the Canadian smoking on it. We achieved it. So if you find this video helpful, please. Do not hesitate to like it. I would appreciate if you would do that and then subscribe if you are new to my channel. So thank you so much guys. So you see all our plates are down um, and smoking. They are looking so beautiful here. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.